Jake Podge find it? Tyron. Tyron. <laughs> Absolutely put him for his paces, bless him. What's going on ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. I've just arrived back from uni and I'm feeling absolutely shattered. So the first thing I'm gonna do is... Hey, hang on, wrong drink. Yes, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start sipping on this 3D energy. So me and Jake are gonna be heading to the gym um, and because we're both feeling so tired, we're both going to be having a 3D. Oh, well, Jake's going to be having a monster, I'm going to be having a 3D. Um, so, trying not to get back on the caffeine hype, but in times like this when I'm feeling really, really tired and I just need some energy to get me through a really good workout, um, because every workout needs to be good from now on. We're going to be having a 3D. I'm very excited to be having this. I haven't had one of these in a while, not since like January. Best energy drink out there, by far. Best energy drink on the market, by far. I definitely recommend anyone to buy a crate of these. I think they're on a discount at the moment. I think it's 25% off if you use the discount 3D London. Definitely grab yourself one of these. Right, so I've just got changed into my gym gear, and I'm gonna very briefly show you kind of what I'm gonna be taking throughout um, my training. So the other day I got a parcel, which I'll show you now. Quite a few things. So we have some new ISO Way recovery EAAs. Uh, Bolt powders, glutamine, cyclic dextrin, and basically I've got these amino acids. We've got some cyclic dextrin and we've got some glutamine as well. And this is what I'm going to be having intra workout, so throughout my workouts, to provide me with some fast acting carbs and some amino acids. Um, so I'm basically just going to be mixing it all together in this 2.2 litre jug of water. I'm um, just sipping it for my workout basically. Um, so nothing very special, um, just some central amino acids and some other bits as well. So this is what I'm going to be having whilst I'm bulking and cutting. Um, so I basically got these packages purely to get myself ready for my cut because supplements has never been something that I've taken very seriously. Um, I haven't really ever done much research into them and I've never really trusted them. Um, but obviously now I'm being coached by Tim, I'm listening to my coach. Um, I'm buying everything that he wants me to buy and I'm just going to follow everything he says um, and obviously learning along the way, learning what suits me best and what works best for me. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm going to be drinking throughout the workout as well as the 3D energy drink. So I'm just having a quick bagel as a pre-workout meal with some jam. Um, so nothing big before we train because we don't want to eat a lot of food before training. And that's a massive piece of advice that I give you guys is to not eat too much food before training because you don't want to be bloated, you don't want to be really full in the gym and you want to give yourself some time to digest your food. Um, so I'd probably give yourself probably about an hour between eating and training um, just so you can let your food settle and that kind of stuff. I am fully, fully, full. <laughs> I'm fully, fully stuttering my words today now that I've had some caffeine as well. Um, like, when I say I have a caffeine rush and caffeine hits me, like, caffeine seriously does hit me. And I can feel it. I'm stuttering my words. I don't know what I'm saying. But just making up my bagel with jam now. And then I'm going to be heading off to the gym. And the plan is to take Jacob through our second rotation of our pull push legs. Um, and yeah, pretty much take him through the whole workout and I'll do a running commentary over the whole thing. I'm gonna sit in the corner once again because I quite enjoy doing that. I don't know why, it's just quite fun. And I think it looks quite good. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for this workout. I'm gonna be filming the whole thing, talking through everything with you guys, explaining everything and talking through exactly what I'm telling Jacob to do in terms of form, reps, everything. Um, so yeah, just gonna eat up this bagel now. I'm out of breath, I'm stuttering, I'm a mess. Let's get to the gym. Right, what is going on ladies and gents, welcome back to another commentary. So to give a bit of context, um, Jacob has been training for about six months now, 
properly um, and for the past probably two or three months I've been really pushing him um, kind of giving him one to one coaching I literally train with him every single day um, and I take him through my workout pretty much every single day as well so I've been really pushing him to talk through my whole pull workout with him showing him exactly the exercises the reps the form the sets everything I thought it'd be a good opportunity to sit down with you guys and talk through it with you guys as well um, so the first thing we went into was a pullover um, so we used this as kind of like a warm-up exercise um, so we did three sets of eight to ten reps um, and interestingly this is actually the first time using this machine um, I've never actually used this before um, and to be honest I quite liked it um, one thing I would say is that you want to really make sure the weight pulls you back and really gives you a really big stretch on your lats um, to get that full range of motion um, and something that I noticed worked better was at the bottom of the movement try and bend over ever so slightly um, to get that extra squeeze um, in your lats um, and I felt like that helped me ever so slightly and give me that extra range of motion um, so yeah pretty good exercise to warm up on to get your lats um, going get some blood into your lats um, and yeah definitely something that I'm going to be doing from now on because I'm programmed to do this um, on pull rotation 2 so this is pull 2 um, out of my rotation um, and yeah moving on we went into a barbell bent over row um, so with this I'm doing kind of like an underarm grip and with this you want to kind of try and get your body um, your torso as parallel to the floor as possible obviously you don't want to go too parallel and what you want to do is you want to pull the bar parallel to your legs um, to your quads um, and really squeeze at the top of the movement um, so nice slow controlled eccentric um, and here is me actually hitting 100 kilos for nine reps which I was pretty shocked about um, I was actually really happy with that um, I don't think I, I ever go too heavy on like, bent over rows because I feel like you can very easily start shrugging the weight up and that's like, something that you do not want to do um, as it kind of takes the concentration out of your back um, and here's Jacob pretty happy with his form to be honest um, I did actually indicate him to bend over ever so slightly um, more um, and have a bit more of a hip hinge um, but other than that, pretty sound with that to be honest, um, pretty happy. Moving on we went into a chest supported T-bar row. So this is actually the first time me using this kind of row in this gym. I've used it in other gyms and haven't really enjoyed it. Um, but I was quite pleasantly surprised with this. You really want to allow the weight to kind of pull your arms down and get that full stretch in your back. So a key thing is to activate your back first. So a lot of the time people will pull with their arms and really engage the biceps. That's something you do not want to do. You want to really kind of activate your back first. Retract your scapula, activate your back. Um, and with this you really want to do force your chest forwards as well. Um, so with this movement we went into a Cybex kind of seated row. Um, and this was slightly higher so we're hitting more of the rear delts. Um, and we did two sets of 8 to 10 reps. Um, and like I mentioned, what you want to do is force your chest forwards um, to get that full range of motion um, and allow the weight once again to pull your arms away from you um, and to really stretch. And you're, you can also adjust the chest support on this um, so you can make it a little bit further away from you so you can really like focus on getting that stretch. And you really want to do squeeze for at least a second, uh, maybe half a second actually. Um, and yeah, moving on to a very similar exercise to the previous movement, um, we moved into kind of like a, I think it's called a Presa um, chest supported row. Um, so with this, we drop the seat down a little bit. Um, so we're kind of rowing a little bit higher up. So we're hitting more of the rear delts once again. Um, and once again, you want to force your chest forward. So with this one, I actually try and keep my head down as much as possible to really focus myself on pushing forwards as we're driving the elbows backwards um, and something that I'd note on Jacob here he is kind of tucking his elbows in something I noticed with Jacob here he is kind of tucking his elbows in ever so slightly but I would definitely recommend trying to flare your elbows out with this one and really do focus on hitting your rear delts um, because it's a higher row that you want to be hitting um, and once again you can adjust the chest support to kind of emphasize the stretch um, on the movement. Moving on, we moved into some trap work. So we did four back exercises, but now I'm gonna be doing some shrug work. Um, so working on the traps, we're then gonna be doing some rear delt stuff, 
and then finishing up with some biceps. So here is Jacob pulling some filthy faces um, as you do when you're shrugging. Um, and shrugs are a really good movement to build up your traps. Obviously, um, they are really good for targeting the traps. Um, and here we did like a muscle round. So we did six reps of six. What we did, six sets of six reps. Um, so what we did, we did six reps, five breaths. So one, two, without dropping the weight and then six reps. And we did that six times. Um, so this was a bit of a burner, um, but it was good, felt strong. Um, was pretty happy with it. I think I was moving two plates once again. And also the Smith machine is a good one to use for shrugs um, because obviously the bar is kind of locked in a single plane of movement um, and you can't kind of move the bar around um, when you're kind of locked into position. So moving on, we went into kind of like an incline chest supported um, rear delt fly. So with this, you really do not want to go heavy. Um, you want to go really light. You want to focus on driving your elbows backwards and really squeezing your rear delts. Um, so something that people go wrong with this is they go way too heavy and they start really throwing the weight around. They start really shrugging the weight up um, and just going way too heavy and it's just not needed for a movement like this. Three sets of 20 to 25 reps. Um, so very high volume compared to the previous sets where we're literally only doing like one working set and two back off sets. Um, so that is pretty much the back portion of the workout complete and now moving on to some dumbbells um, So we did some hammer curls um, So with these you want to focus on kind of pulling the dumbbells ever so slightly across your body um, So usually with a hammer curl you'd go directly upwards, but for this workout we went slightly across um, So here is Jacob doing some dumbbell hammer curls um, Happy with his form once again pulling them faces <laughs> bless him um, and yeah biceps is something that I really do need to focus on really do need to build up my arms are definitely a weak point of mine and so if you've got a weak point up the frequency up the intensity um, focus on them a lot more kind of program your routine around your weak points um, rather than kind of just putting them off and also another thing that I'd say is if you've got movements you don't enjoy definitely do them more um, because you don't want to neglect movements that you don't enjoy um, because you're kind of just putting off the weak points that you have um, so definitely do movements you don't enjoy um, and make yourself enjoy them anyway moving on to our second bicep exercise is this and this is kind of like an incline preacher um, curl cable curl machine curl um, so with this like I always mention really focus on the eccentric part of the movement so a really slow and controlled eccentric part of the movement I keep saying part of the movement really really controlled and slow eccentric um, as the eccentric part of the movement is the part of the movement I said movement so many times that is going to do the most muscle tear um, and so you really want to do focus on that um, and really squeezing at the top of the movement um, so with this one you can kind of force your elbow backwards so you can get a full range of motion as well Moving on to our final exercise and this was an absolute killer of a set So I've actually sped up a little bit here because we did so many reps So we did one set of 50 reps And with the wide EZ bar um, on the cables um, So I believe I did 40 reps on one weight Couldn't physically do any more so we dropped the weight down and did 10 more reps um, and yeah pulling some filthy faces once again um, with this you want to tense your tricep at the bottom of the movement to make sure your bicep is at its full extent um, and really really squeezing your bicep at the top of the movement obviously when we're doing so many reps they're kind of forming out the window to be honest and I'm just focused on getting the reps up um, and yeah that is the workout complete to be honest um, and my throat is really sore from speaking so bloody fast um, but yeah, really good workout, really pushing Jacob once again. So I really am enjoying training Jacob at the moment. I'm looking forward to see where he can get up to um, in terms of his strength, his size, his growth. Um, and yeah, here's me doing some posing, trying to do a lat spread. It's looking not too shabby to be honest. And a back double by, which is it's coming on. It's not bad. So yeah, that's going to be it for the commentary. And we have just finished up at the gym. Um, really good session with Jacob. Jacob, how'd you find it? Tiring. 
tiring. <laughs> absolutely put him for his paces bless him um so we're in the gym for about two hours it felt like much longer than that i literally felt like i haven't been outside in like days um and i'm absolutely starving so we're gonna nip to tesco quickly now grab some chicken as usual and we're gonna be having chicken and rice for dinner because we don't have much fat left for today um and that is gonna be our kind of like low fat option um so yeah we're gonna head into tesco now grab some food is served so we have 400 grams of chicken 100 grams of basmati rice we've got some onions in there we've got some peppers in there and we've also got some broccoli as well just for health and we've also put a little bit of cheese in as well just to boost up the fat slightly um so yeah this is a lot of protein like i probably shouldn't have this amount of protein in one meal i usually try and split it up quite nicely throughout the day so i'd usually have probably meals of like 50, 40, 50 grams of protein and have multiple of ones throughout the day. But because we're low on protein so far for the day, we're gonna have a lot of protein now. Um, I just said protein way too many times in that sentence. Um, so yeah, this is dinner, nothing really special. Uh, looks like a bit of a cutting meal, but yeah, I had quite a lot of fat early. We had actually had a pizza at uni. Apologies, Tim, don't tell me off. Um, but yeah, we had a pizza at uni earlier, so we're gonna have to make do with a low fat meal. But yeah, this is dinner, nothing special. Um, so I'm going to sit and enjoy this. Also, watching the football, Southampton beating Liverpool. And I really hope Liverpool lose. I'm sorry, all Liverpool supporters. I really want Man City to win the league. Mmm. It's good. And that is going to be a wrap on today's video. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Um, something slightly different. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to smash the button. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Subscribe to Thomas Roundtree, legend. <laughs>